Partner. Howdy, friend. Partner. Hey there. You know what to do, girl. That's my girl. Hello, miss. Hey, big boy. And we are live. Welcome back to part 29 of Marston Mondays, where we free roam with John in Epilogue 2. Looks like we spawned in the middle of a sandstorm. I'm your friendly neighborhood, Super Antonio, and please be sure to like, subscribe, and hit that notification bell if you would enjoy seeing more of my Red Dead Redemption 2 content. Let's set up camp and get out of here. However, first we need to swap out the hat. John is tired of the Chinese skull cap. We need to go to Strawberry. Why Strawberry, you may ask? Well, John needs to show you a couple Lady Slipper Orchid locations for another video, as a favor to Arthur. And we should also swap out for our cold weather outfit, which is sort of custom, featuring the legendary moose hunting jacket and the trapper billy vest. John likes a gray and white theme. Hey, partner! Let's move on. And welcome back to what remains of the Appleseed Timber Company. They have moved on to greener pastures. These lady slipper orchids only spawn post-game. Here's one of them. And your map. And the other one. And here is our exact location. You can come back in a couple days and these lady slipper orchids will respawn. Algernon wants seven of them. <laughs> Camp over here. We better investigate. You're quite a horse. Get out of here. Go on and get the hell out of here. I mean no harm. I'm just a visitor. I ain't doing nothing wrong. Uh. Oh. Shit! Don't do this. Okay, John is mad now. Let's shoot a hole in his hat. You're in quite a bind there, partner. Look at this really nice basket. I wonder what's in there. That's getting a hole too. Here we go. And we shall take this apple for the horse, thank you. Call it an apple tax. John is still mad and thought that jar was looking at him funny. Nothing special in this loot box. 
However, the horse can have a carrot for dinner. We'll take out this pottery as well. And someone should have told that NPC that a lantern this close to your tent is a fire hazard. Jesus! Don't fight it, partner. Let's move on. Don't go anywhere now. Yeah! Now we need to set up camp and go to Van Horn. John has plans. However, it's a little late and the light's going. The hotel here is surprisingly accommodating. Couldn't do it without you, girl. <laughs> well, I'm surprised to see you back. Really wish we could interact with the albino vampire postmaster as far as getting a bath or a room. Instead, we have to use this poster. All right. Evening. And then upstairs, we might as well try all the doors. Hi, right, fellas. Out of my face. Go on. Also, I've mentioned it before, but this is my favorite wall hanging in the entire game. Just the composition of the bow and the cow skull with the old rug. It really works for me. John will take a moment to post for the thumbnail and the Instagram. Link in the description if you'd like to follow, in addition to links for my second gaming channel, Twitter, and our Discord. Additionally, John needs to set up the intro. Partner. Howdy, friend. Partner. Hey there. You know what to do, girl. That's my girl. Well done, John. Let's get back to the hotel. Interestingly, the rest of the room is decorated in what I would call a haphazard fashion. Come and experience the beauty of Window Rock. However, note how the posters are all pasted on top of one another, with no real effort or design. A Cumberland Falls poster and an ad for snake oil. More newspaper ads here. And some land for sale.
here's a better view of the land for sale ad. Really wish we could buy property in this game. I mean, John does have a ranch if he ever decides to build it. I suppose I mean more property. I'd really like an apartment in Saint Denis and a cabin in the Heartlands. Can't look out through the windows. And this is a very elaborate picture frame for another ad, this time for the Litchfield Repeater. I suppose it's a nice enough picture, or maybe the hotel owners really like the Litchfield. Well, it's getting late. We better get some shut-eye. You're a good dog. Good girl. Let's go. You, mister! The next day, John headed towards the Kamasa River. Cabin here looks boarded up. <laughs> Nothing to investigate. Here is the map, Huron Glen. And another camp over here. And looks like we have some Murphy Brood Jokers. This looks like a Springfield high velocity situation. Check the map, they have friends. Swap out to the bolt action, and don't forget the horse. You gonna settle for me? You got friends, do you? Done! Now we can enjoy the forest in peace. We better collect some supplies.
on the appetite. Moving on, we need to go across the river to right about here. John has a date with the legendary beaver. What makes the legendary beaver so legendary, you may be asking? Well, for one, he's huge, and he's all white with a flappy pink tail. A little disturbing, if you ask me. Let's go hunting. Been through it, ain't we? First clue, broken sticks. Those legendaries do love their broken sticks. Still ways off, I reckon. And the map. Ford this stream. Be careful, John. And the second clue, some legendary dung. Well, you're not here. <gasps> and number three, more broken sticks. You close? Here we go. He's by the river. There he is. Go get him, John. Well done, John. No worries, he is only sleeping. However, that pink tail really looks like a giant tongue. And your map. Let's get him back to the trappers without getting into any more trouble, shall we? Back in the big city, we might as well take this opportunity to get our honor back up to 100%. Nice morning, ain't it, mister? I'll tell you what, life takes a toll, huh? How are you, ladies? Morning. Morning. Hey, hello. Yep, good morning. Ain't you a nice group? Hmm. Uh, excuse me. Morning. 
Hey, mister. Morning, partner. She can't keep a house to save her life. Fellas? Good morning, sir. The potatoes are even boiled. I tell her I work all day. You can't even boil a potato. You gotta put your foot down. See, I get home, oh, I check everything. Every room, every shelf, Hair. everything. Oh, come on! Y'all want it in the rain? There you Are go. You blind lady? Now shut the oh, hell up. I can't. She yeah. out yeah. her What's mind. What's wrong come with on. you? Let's go. Uh, I uh, this. Uh, I think it's my math. This really uh, ain't like you. Uh, Bad luck, friend. That reminds John, he should call Abigail at Strawberry. Make sure her and the boy are okay. Maybe send up some cash. We are on the wrong side of the trapper's ear. What is your problem? I prefer this side. Let's process this legendary beaver and get him to the trappers. Relax, lady. What are you wearing? Is, is that blood? Oh, no. Partner? Morning, mister. Relax, I ain't causing trouble. Good seeing you, partner. Hmm. Well, anyway, how you doing? All right, then. Good to see you. Okay. Hello? So, buy and sell it. Good morning. Right, let's see. 18 bucks for the pelt and another 950 for the carcass. And we shall also get rid of this gamey condor meat. Gentlemen? Thanks, mister. Hello? What do you need? Let's go to the fence and pick up the matching trinket. I mean, as long as we're here. Hello? Morning, miss. Good morning to you. Well, look at this. A cadeau from my past. Explore, explore. I have quite the stock. Note the jade mask. I am convinced this is a cheap tourist knockoff of the original jade mask. The one John collects in Mexico, if you know what I mean. Okay. We do have an Undead Nightmare playlist if you would like to see John investigate further. Interested in one of my charms? Well, you have everything I need. So the beaver tooth trinket permanently slows degradation for all weapons by 10%. Nice. Serendipity. And here you are. Fantastic, no? And we can also get the Moose Antler Trinket, which permanently increases player's health experience bonus by 10%, which is nice, however, John is already at 100%. Fantastic, no? Oh, mais bien sûr! Also, the Pronghorn Horn Trinket. John has been busy. This one stops animals on horseback from spoiling. And then it looks like Arthur left the alligator tooth talisman for John. Arthur also left John five gold jointed bracelets. We only need one. Arthur had five. He was a little obsessed with those things. Oh yes, a fine choice. And you have everything I need. The alligator tooth talisman permanently decreases the speed at which the dead eye core drains by, you guessed it, 
10%. This video is sponsored by viewers like you. Consider joining the channel and becoming a member for deputy badges by your name, custom emoticons in the premiere chats, end credits in every video, and daily members only community posts featuring my random musings on life, TV and movie reviews, and exclusive photos. I hope you enjoyed watching this commentary as much as I enjoyed making it. John ended up going on a bit of a spending spree. Don't tell Abigail. On Mondays, we Marston. I'll see you in part 30. I'm Super Antonio. Thanks for watching. I appreciate your views. Like, comment, share, and subscribe, and hit that notification bell for daily Red Dead Redemption 2 content. We shall meet again. Further on down the trail. Uh... Howdy, sir. Mister? Hello. Hi there. Give it a rest, will you? We ain't kids no more. Never really was.